members who smelled that steak and they were like, oh, can we please, please, all right, steak for breakfast in Texas? Absolutely. Is it good? Yeah, they're not, they're busy eating. They're not paying attention to me. So, <laughs> all right. Well, it is National Nutrition Month, and throughout the month of March, the city of Houston has teamed up with Recipe for Success to veg out. It's a way to go on a food adventure and eat more produce. Here with more, please welcome registered dietitian Carol Lapin. Hello, Carol. <laughs> This is a good challenge because so many of us are stuck in like the five vegetables or five things that we eat all the time, and your body needs more than that. Right. Well, one way to ensure that you're getting the nutrients that you need is to do a variety of things. Also, keeps it from being boring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there's a big emphasis again on eating. We're just talking about with HEB, eating where you live. Absolutely. So the trend right now, and it's a good one, is to eat more locally grown, to shop in your neighborhood, basically, mm -hmm. in your area. We're seeing the results of that kind of thing happen across the country mm -hmm. right now because, of course, we want people to be more healthy, uh, drop the obesity rate. Absolutely. And so what are we seeing in results so far? You know, the good news is that 70% of Americans, according to the Center for Disease Control, have bought locally grown vegetables and also are eating out at fast food restaurants less. And we've seen a decrease in the obesity rate as a result of that small but making yeah, progress. It's a trend that's catching on. It is a trend that's catching on. All yeah. right. So let's talk about some of the vegetables. We talked about uh, vegging out, that we all want to veg out. Uh, yeah. And like the idea is to pick up kind of a vegetable of the day. And the vegetable today, I'm going to give you a hint and you yell out what you think it is. The vegetable for today, what veggie is rich in fiber, low in calories, great source of vitamin C, and can help reduce the risk of breast, lung, and prostate cancers? Which one do you think is under the blue? <laughs> We had broccoli. Someone yelled out oranges. Oh, an orange is that a, is orange a vegetable? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oranges are good for you. They however, are, you get absolutely. there. All right. Somebody. Okay. Broccoli. Someone said. And the vegetable of the day, and the one that we just yep. got to talking about. Yes. Is. And so, how appropriate is it for National Nutrition Month? This is the 40th year for National Nutrition Month wow. for the nutrition of. Uh, Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So, so starting out with broccoli, yep. and broccoli has all kinds. I just mentioned some of the properties yep. to it. Yep. There are people who will tell you, including a former president, <laughs> I hate broccoli. I do not like broccoli. I will never <laughs> eat broccoli. I just don't like broccoli. We're like, oh, it's okay. But sometimes people say that, especially a lot of kids, and then all of a sudden they eat it the right way. That's right. And so one thing you don't want to do, as Southerners do sometimes, is cook the bejeebas out of something. Uh -huh. Because number one, when you cook too high temperatures, you lose the vitamin C, and also the minerals leach out. So if you could just steam that beautiful broccoli a little bit, and then, then maybe add some olive oil to it, uh, maybe some Italian seasonings. Um, if you want to do some of the low-sodium uh, chicken broth to uh -huh. it, it's going to bring out some wonderful flavor. A cheese sauce, but real cheese. Well, you can you <laughs> absolutely use cheese sauce. Could we Go a little bit easy on this. Yeah, just a little drizzle. <laughs> just a little drizzle right there. Uh, I've even done this with my with son of taking this and mixed it up in tomato paste and stuff to make the sauce for a pizza. Yeah. And you can hide vegetables and well, things. And right? you can, yeah, you can put vegetables on the pizza. Exactly. Yeah. All right. The next one is what is uh, in the same family as cabbage and broccoli? It's a quarter of a pound cooked. It's only 46 calories. Is slightly bitter and has edible leaves. Ooh, that could be a lot of things. Kale, spinach. All right. Uh, it is. Ta da! Well, actually, every, you know what? You're all right. It's the southern greens, and they are top heavy with nutrition. Yeah. Top heavy. I can I eat mean, a pot of collard greens and hot water cornbread, <laughs> and I am. But, but I'm good. you're looking at just a tub of this for so few calories, super high in fiber, A, C. Uh, potassium, K, and also some cal yeah. calcium in this there. This is as well. another thing that has to be cooked right because yeah. uh, greens can be really, really bitter, but yeah. you have some tips on taking I that I do. Bitterness. So instead of taking our bacon fat and putting it in there, as <laughs> southerners do, okay, again, let's go back to doing a, a little bit of olive oil in there, using some like your low sodium chicken broth, maybe some Italian seasonings, and the aromatics like your onion and garlic, mm -hmm. which have great nutrition. I'm going to have to ask my grandma about that. No. Uh... <laughs> Check with her. Yeah. C cook it this way and let her sample it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you can't get that seasoning that you want in there, but take Absolutely. that bitterness out and, of it. Yeah, without adding all the salt. Too. Okay. On our third one, what has been shown to help control blood sugar? Low, lower bad. Yeah, we're showing part of that. Okay, <laughs> lower bad cholesterol and blood pressure, and also called tuna. And of course, this is going to give it away right here. It's also called the desert fig. Beets. Beets. Somebody beets. Said beets? <laughs> no. How about this? If you handle it, you have to handle it very carefully. Onions. Oh, that's true. If you rub your eyes, you would. 
little prickly pear there. So, so, so it's unique, right, Deborah, in that it's both a fruit and a vegetable. Have you seen the bloom, the purple bloom, right? Yeah, uh -huh. Okay, that juice is used. It's very high in antioxidants. I think you see a picture of it on your screen. But you, then you also have the leaf, Deborah. And it's used in all kinds of ways in Mexico, so but that's we use it here. The, the, the prickly pear is a fruit and a vegetable. Absolutely. So the leaves, you can cut those off, and you can turn that around and just use your knife to slice off the prickly part of it, uh -huh. cut off the sides of it. This can go directly on a grill. You can put it in a skillet and saute it. You can add it to salads. You can make a pico with it. You can on make a margarita with it. it. You can, well, you, you know I, what? I mean, I've just heard of prickly well, pear margaritas. Well, you can, I'm you just can saying. with the with that beautiful fruit. Uh -huh. You absolutely can yes. with that. Okay. Well, Carol, this is great. And I guess you know the challenge again is to take one thing at least on your plate that you said that you hated right. and see if you can make it taste the way it should yeah, be. And another thing I wanted to point out is when I have clients that come to me and say, I don't like vegetables or I don't eat very many vegetables, if you go to some of your larger grocery stores like the HEB mm -hmm, stores, mm -hmm. the up stores, there are 60 to 70 different vegetables there. Yeah. So you're guaranteed that if you keep trying them, you're going to find some that you like. And they got recipes for you right there. And you that's go in and ask great for weight control. Yeah. Pile the plate up with the veggies and less of the higher calorie food on the All plate. Right. Carol, thank you. Thank you, Deborah. And for more on Veg Out, along with everything on today's show, you can visit our website at GreatDayHouston.com. Okay, so we asked you what vegetable did you hate as a kid, but now you've seen the error of your ways and you love it now. Okay, so what did what did you say? What did you? What? I did not care for Brussels sprouts, the cruciferous cancer prevention um, <laughs> veggie. But uh, my mother used to cook it till it was mush. God bless her soul. Uh huh. Um, so if you don't want to overcook that Brussels sprout and take the bitterness out with a little balsamic vinegar. Okay, we have a lot of Brussels sprout people. And somebody else said zucchini, uh, but if you batter it and fry it, it gets good. Oh, well. Okay. My <laughs> shoes. Yeah. Get good if you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cauliflower, which you can even puree and almost like a, like a mashed potato type thing. Uh -huh. Spinach, I like it now, fresh and cooked. Uh, collard greens, broccoli smockly, someone said. <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and eggplant. All right, sauteed onions, and now we love it. Okay, we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>